I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to click on this video. This month we will be doing a giveaway on your choice of a beaded hummingbird necklace with six intention crystals or a romance angel oracle deck. Last time this deck went out of print, it sold for up to $1,000. If you would like to be entered into the giveaway, simply just click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on which item you would like to receive. We will announce the winner in the last weekly reading of this month. Hello Sagittarius, this is Craig from Hacking Spirituality, and I'm here to do a love reading on the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Not all messages are going to resonate. If you want a message that's going to resonate directly towards your own personal situation, you can always feel free to reach out to me and book a personal reading. A link to my website will be in the description box down below. Let's go. What does Okay, so to start your reading off, you have the Ten of Pentacles in the current environment, which could represent some sort of long relationship uh, that's 10 years or more. You also have the energy of the chariot crossing it. Something that can help or hurt the situation is some sort of life correction or change in your current life path right now. Recent past issues was the Three of Cups, so this could either be um, there was some lack of celebration or reunion in the recent past. Also in the recent past, you have the Devil, so there could have been a level of codependency, some sort of relationship that could have been somewhat um, toxic for you, or it could just be addictions in general. You also have on your thoughts the five of wands, so some sort of conflict that you've been thinking about in your head and possibly a way to resolve this conflict. In the near future, you have the two of pentacles, which is juggling things, uh, juggling out situations, balancing out between work and romance life. In your fears, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This could be that the fear of all the hard work you put in isn't going to pay off. You're not going to be able to reap exactly what you sowed. In the environment, you have the King of Cups. So there could be some sort of lack of expressing emotion with someone or someone expressing some sort of emotion towards you. In your hopes, you have the Four of Swords, which is rest, relaxation, and actually healing in a situation you have the eight of pentacles in the outcome so it looks like you're going to continuously or you're going to continue to work on something and even though you're fearing these efforts may not pay off you're still going to put in that extra effort and continue to put hard work into the situation uh, looking from your past, it looks like it's going from negative to positive for sure here with the devil showing up in the past, but then we're moving into a Ten of Pentacles. So things could actually be paying off that didn't pay off in the past. You could have actually had some negative influences from the past show up. Um, there could have been conflicts and fights resolved from these negative issues, and you feel like you really didn't get the celebration or reunion that you were expecting to in the pa in the recent past or in the past and this is actually causing you to balance out and juggle these things let's go ahead and pull you romance angel and we can actually take a little deeper look on why these cards are here you got reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so what actually 
you were hoping for in the past with this whatever this reconciliation or celebration uh, that was an issue in the past <clears throat> actually looks like it may come to fruition in the future or in the present right now. There could be some sort of reconciling going on. And um, there could be an end of these uh, disputes and the conflict can actually cease to exist here in the future. I definitely feel like you are going to have to balance out a situation and you may be doing quite a bit of juggling with this. Um, you could probably set aside some of these fears that your hard work isn't going to play or pay out to your benefit because it does look like the hard work is going to pay out to your benefit in the outcome. So if you're fearing that the work you're putting in isn't being recognized, I would put that fear aside. And I do believe that your hope is going to come true with some sort of healing or actually getting a little bit of R&R &R in here. I really hope you enjoyed your reading, Sagittarius, and I look forward to doing your next one. Happy birthday, by the way.